Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today we're going to be trying a new product that claims to be, I don't know if like healthier is the better term or better for you. But uh, what I have today is a bowl of mac and cheese from this company called Goodles. Could be Goodles. It says noodles gooder so are they going with the pronunciation of good for goodles or are they gonna make it rhyme with noodles and call it goodles nowhere on here does it say any pronunciation guide um, I do like that the the macro in here is very they put like a glossy uh, sheen to it if you look in the light you can see it shining off there and it's kind of the fork and everything whereas the rest of it is like a matte feeling and the back says this is huge sure it looks small this nifty little macaroni began with a big idea to create a nutrient packed noodle that looks cooks and tastes just like a normal delicious noodle endless hours at the stove and over a thousand versions later say hello to Goodles, a gooder noodle. Goodles packs your mac and mac with both the good stuff you want and tons of yum. And that's a pretty huge deal. Little things with big impact, we call them gooders. And they are everywhere, making a tastier, kinder, happier world. Goodles is our gooder. What's yours? Let us know at goodles.com. Make, be, do, gooder. Santa Cruz, California. Um, so what makes Goodles gooder? On the side here, it tells you 14 grams of protein. Well, how does that compare to a regular box of macaroni and cheese? So I looked up Kraft macaroni and cheese, same size box. What does it have in here? Protein, 9 grams. And this is, this is, I'm um, looking at here the dry uh, mix ingredients uh, because if you put butter or milk in it, it's going to change and that's going to depend on the butter or milk that they use. So, from 9 grams of protein to 14, 5 additional grams of protein. And that's per serving. Um, yeah. 7 grams of fiber with prebiotics. What does a regular box of craft have? Two grams of fiber. It doesn't say probiotics. I'm going to say they probably don't have it. 21 nutrients from plants. Um, what nutrients are in here? There's a lot. There's 10% vitamin D, 10% calcium, 15% iron, 6% potassium. These are daily value percentages. Could also read you the micrograms because they have in here as well, but just gonna keep going. Um, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12, biotin, pantothenic acid, iodine, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, and molybdenum. All those range from as low as 6% for potassium to as high as 50% of your daily intake of selenium. Um, and it says, unbelievably delicious community love. Um, and just so we can compare, a regular Kraft macaroni and cheese, the only things they have are calcium at 10%, iron at 15%, and potassium at 6%. So, the potassium is the same, the calcium is the same, and the iron is the same uh, but this has tons more stuff in it as well let's take a look at some things they don't specifically mention in here calories this has 260 regular macaroni and cheese 260 this has three and a half grams of fat one and a half being saturated zero trans um, Kraft has 2.5, 1.5, and 0. So this actually has one more gram of total fat. 
cholesterol 10 milligrams, cholesterol 10 milligrams, sodium 590, sodium 560. Both have a lot of sodium. This one's slightly more, but I think it's negligible. It goes from 24% to 26%. Carbs, this is 47 grams, that has 48 grams. Um, the biggest difference being that this has more fiber in it. Um, they both have, this has 6 grams of sugar, that has 8 grams of sugar. And let's see, what about the ingredients? Regular macaroni and cheese. It's just wheat flour, durum flour, niacin, ferrous sulfate, thiamine, mononitrate, riboflavin. Um, this has wheat flour, chickpea protein, wheat protein, natural extractives from broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin, sweet potato, sunflower seed, cranberry, chlorella, wataki mushroom, shiitake mushroom. Now what's in the cheese blend? In a craft they have whey, milk fat, milk protein, salt, sodium, triphosphate, uh, lactic acid, citric acid, sodium phosphate, calcium phosphate, paprika, turmeric, and annatto for flavor, enzymes, and cheese culture. This one has uh, whey, cultured whey, whey, buttermilk, salt, the sodium phosphate, color, annatto, paprika, turmeric, enzymes, butter, uh, with cream, salt, enzymes, salt, tapioca flour, dried maple syrup, and lactic acid. So, also a little bit different. But, now it's time to see, does it taste good? Does it taste the same? Does it look good or look the same? Here's what it looks like. Pretty much what you, what I think, full of macaroni and cheese should look like. It's got like a bright yellow, orangey color to it. It's got a a decent macaroni soundage to it. Now let's give it a taste. No. I would say the flavor is spot on, if not better. Yeah, the cheese sauce in here. Two thumbs up. It tastes like box macaroni and cheese flavor. It's like a sharpness to it, has a richness to it. Two thumbs up. The noodles, which is really where the the bulk of the difference is, I noticed in the ingredients are actually really good. There are no weird flavor to them. They just taste like plain macaroni noodles. I think the only noticeable difference is that the noodles are a little bit firmer. And that's not even super noticeably firmer. It's just me trying to figure out if I can taste or feel a difference in flavor or texture. That's really the only thing I can come up with. The noodles are just a tad bit firmer. And honestly, I think that kind of makes it better because they're not all soft and clumpy and falling apart. Um, sometimes when you boil the noodles, you'll get like noodles that just kind of like disintegrate and they get a little floaty specks and partial noodles. These all look good. They all look solid. The cheese is flavorful. The noodles are good. I'm not detecting any after flavors that are bad. Everything about this, to me, seems to be good. Now, I don't have my uh, receipt with me, so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. 
So what I'm going to do is just do a little quick Google, because I should have done this beforehand, and see that at Target, you can get one of these for $2.99. And they also, you can get them right from the website as well. And let's see, Kraft Mac and Cheese. If you're going to buy a box of Kraft Mac and Cheese, you can get it. Um, looks like Amazon has them for 99 cents. Walgreens has them for $1.25. Um, let's see if I can see if there's a Target one just so I can see. Uh, yep, Target has 99 cents. So you go from 99 cents to $2.99. So you are tripling the price uh, for individual boxes anyway. Um, I'm sure if you get them in bigger quantities, uh, they will be cheaper. They have them in different flavors. They also have a shell. Uh, the shell one that I see is from a different store, so it has a different price. Um, but let me tell you what flavors they got here. <laughs> they got truffle. Um, truffle is a white cheese with uh, shells. Looks good. I have one called Mover and Shaker. Mover and Shaker is a Cacio e Pepe inspired flavor, so that's pepper and Parmesan. Uh, I have Shella Good, which just looks like a typical uh, yellow cheese and shells. I have Chetty Mac which is what I have here, and I think it tastes really good. Um, twist My Parm, which are twisty uh, noodles with the Parmesan cheese flavor. Uh, they have one called Vegan is Believin, and as would, you think it's a vegan base, uh, so it has cashew milk um, and a vegan cheese. Uh, then they have Down the Hatch, which is a hatch chili, and it uses the twisty uh, noodles as well. And they have a variety pack that you can get as well, and for a four box pack, um, they're doing it as about $16 for a 12 box pack, about $42. And doing that math, uh, let's see, 14, no, that's 16 divided by 4, so 4 bucks a box that way. Uh, 12, let's see, 42 divided by 12, uh, let's see, 3 times 12 is 36, we would have 6 more, so another 50 cents uh, 350 so it seems like actually getting them from Target is cheaper uh, by the individual box anyway that's it for this video goodles or goodles I think they taste really good they're cheesy and delicious um, the noodles are fine there's no weird flavor to them they have a little bit uh, on the firmer side but not really too noticeably if you give this to children I think they think they were the same noodles you regularly give them um, so the benefit is a lot more uh, nutrients more fiber more protein the downside is it's pretty much three times as expensive as a regular box of craft and that's not even including like uh, store brands of craft which are probably even cheaper uh, but tastes good potentially good for you or better or as they will say say gooder for you um, but that's it hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel see you on the next one so long